Hey guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch This Sunday Tool Haul number two. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to go through, so I say we jump right into it. Let's go. Well, I sorted through every wrench that we got today. And uh, that right there is everything we are not keeping. This is all oddball stuff. Um, just crap, basically, you know. Ace Professional. I'm sure there's people out there that collect Ace, but not me. Power Master. All sorts of stuff like that. There's uh, Palmary. There's uh, Fairmont. A boatload of Pittsburgh in there. All this stuff is going to get either resold or dropped off at our local uh, trade school. So this will not go to waste. Um, for our keep pile, let me rearrange this here. Let me show you what we got. So we've got some Thorzens right up here. Uh, these are all that, uh, what is that? Jador, I think that's how you pronounce it. I got a Williams, I got a, my first Brit Tool wrench. Quite stoked about that, never had one before. Um, Showa, I got two Showa wrenches. They feel real good. I've never heard of them before, but they do really feel good, so feels like a quality tool in your hand. I've got an Industro, Buffalo Barclow, two Electrolytes, I got a Proto, got a New Britain, I got a Walmart wrench, I hung on to that, that's just funny. Um, got a Fleet and a Blackhawk, got a little pile of Craftsman's here, nothing really spectacular to write home to. Um, I got a True Fit, I got a Bonnie, I got a big blue line. Happy about that. I love these things. Uh, Husky. Got a nice little pile of Husky. Nice little pile of Armstrong, too. And I also got two cows. So, quite happy with that. Um, so that's the wrenches. Let me, um, let me clean this up. I'll put this stuff away. And then I'll show you what else we got, okay? Hang on. Okay, so from Miss Fran's table, she has a cool little table. Everything's 25 cents on there, and uh, you know she is she is just a sweetheart. So um, everything's 25 cents. So you just go in there and you just start picking whatever you want, and uh, she's always like, ah, just a dollar, just a dollar, you know. Well, you can't just give her a dollar for this. So I wound up giving her a couple of bucks. I got a little six inch pair of channel locks. They're rusted up, but uh, they'll clean up just fine. I love these things. Um, I got a compression gauge. I needed one. It's the end of the season coming up and uh, I really got to make sure that my lawn mowers are in good working order. Um, got a nice little flat bar. I like these for taking furniture apart. They're real, real thin, but they're strong as hell. So these things work great for that. Um, I got a funky pair of little pliers. I can't read anything on them, but they are just the weirdest looking little pliers I've ever seen. If you guys would know anything about these, please shout it out in the comment section. Um, but yeah, just a funky little pair, pair of pliers. I liked them. And of course, I bought the wooden box. So I think I gave her uh, two or three bucks for all of it, something like that, you know? But if you don't want to spend money at Fran's table, then just pay her the normal price. It's 25 cents for every item. I mean, it's great. So, that's that. My wife picked up this awesome little sterno. Awesome little sterno cooker. So it sets up like that. You put your sternos right underneath there and you put your pot on top. Whatever you're doing, you know, boiling up water or, you know, making oatmeal in the morning, something like that. Pretty cool little cooker, so uh, she wanted it, she got it. Awesome, awesome deals. Uh, I don't know what she paid for it. 
I just know that it was in her bag when uh, we were leaving. So, um, amongst those sockets, I only picked a couple of ones that I wanted. Oh, I also got this nice little SK. It's a 4570 3 8 ratchet, and it also came with an SK socket on there. Um, these are the ones that have like the Allen key on the ends. I believe they're no namers. Yeah, I don't see a name on any of them, but uh, they feel decent. They feel pretty solid, so um, I'm quite happy to have those. I only have a few of those, so reducer you can always have those. Um, this is a Craftsman 3 8 nope, 11 millimeter. This one's a 14 millimeter. Can't read a name on it. And then just some generic ones that I wanted. Um, so I grabbed those out of that plastic tote, this one right here. The rest of this is all just garbage. I'm getting rid of it. Um, then I got a wooden handled screwdriver. Thought it was a champion, it's not, so uh, I'll probably restore it and keep it because it is in pretty good shape. So I got two of the key retractors. This one's an Evans and this one just says made in Hong Kong. So pretty cool. I like finding those. Uh, I got two dog bone wrenches. Quite happy to have those too. Got a pair of Dymaloy, uh, I believe these are K36 slip joint pliers. Can't really read them, they're pretty scrungy. But uh, I believe they're K36s. This, I think, is a Harbor Freight spoke shave. Not quite sure. There's no marks, there's no nothing on there. Um, there's no name. Real rough casting. Um, but the iron's in really good shape, the brass is in great shape. I think we can do something with this to try and, uh, you know, bring it back to uh, usable condition, get that iron razor sharp, and uh, we'll see what that does for us. The gate on the inside, too, the mouth, it, it, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's like the worst casting I've ever seen. But I think I can do something with that. I've got a manifold wrench. This is a electrolyte. Um, this is a 9 16 and a 5 8 Quite happy to have these. I kind of like these. The wife found a crane, 199. Little aluminum, cast aluminum uh, utility knife. I found another perfect handle screwdriver. Um, the handles are in good shape, but this thing's as crooked as a politician, man. Look at that. No backbone. So uh, that'll need some work. Got an underlying Craftsman um, tapered punch. It's got a bent tip on there. I think I can fix that. I got uh, one of these things. This is a uh, three quarter, what do you call them? Uh, they slip into the pass through wrenches um, or ratchets. I don't know. I forget what they're called. Got one of those. Picked up a plum. 2617. I would call it a spud wrench. Thing is awesome. Never seen one quite like this, but I saw it, picked it up. I think I paid eight bucks for it. Totally worth it. Uh, got a little uh, seats box. I saw it. It had some pretty good writing still left on there, and uh, I think it'll clean up a little bit. It's empty, of course, but uh, I like these little dividing boxes. They're pretty awesome. So <clears throat> That's about it for today, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Because I put it off camera so far away. The Keystone grinder. This is a Keystone Railroad Tool Grinder. Uh... Just says Keystone Grinder Manufacturing Company Pittsburgh PA USA. 
and then it says patent applied for so picked this up today I paid five bucks for it I think it's the best deal of the day and uh, I think it's gonna make one hell of a restoration video so if you guys want to see something like that please stay tuned that stupid little aluminum thing on there has got to go I gotta find something better for that but that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the tool haul. Like always, stay safe, be safe, and we'll see you next Sunday with another tool haul. Alright, bye.